I think most people would agree that rapper Snoop Dogg, not really a family-friendly entertainer, huh? I'd say it, it has something to do with the atmosphere that surrounds him. Oh, oh that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be at the St. Patrick's Day Parade tomorrow. Like it or not, Dan. <laughs> well, not at the actual parade, Tim, you see. But, but this is uh, the parking lot where Snoop will appear. Not sure where they're going to put the stage. Uh, St. Patrick's celebrations along Greenville Avenue can be, in years past, sometimes a little raucous, maybe a bit risque, but an effort is underway this year by city leaders and business groups to try to make the parade, well, to change the image into something more suitable for all age groups. Now, there's a new name this year, the Dallas St. Patrick's Parade on Greenville Avenue, emphasizing its connection to the whole city, not just one section known for bars and nightlife. Organizers are scrutinizing the roughly 100 floats to make sure they are high-quality entrants. No sexually oriented businesses will be allowed in the parade. The Greenville Avenue Business Association says they want to keep the focus on the pageantry of the procession and not on alcohol consumption. Uh, we try to target our event to towards families, uh, children, and um, I don't know, since the last 10, 12 years, uh, we've been successful, and we see more and more children and families that come to the event. And they're hoping that trend will continue. Now, here's a look at the parade route. It starts at 11 a.m. at Northwest Highway, or right in that area, and Greenville. The route heads south on Greenville ending at uh, SMU Boulevard, just north of Mockingbird. Now, as we've been talking about, after the parade, the Dallas Observer is sponsoring a St. Patrick's Day concert here in the Energy Square parking lot along Greenville Avenue near Lover's Lane, and the concert headliner, yes indeed, rap star Snoop Dogg. Snoop, not known as the most family-oriented performer out there. Uh, parade organizers are quick to point out that they have nothing to do with the Dallas Observer concert. Now, one other St. Patrick's tradition in this part of Dallas, the annual street party that happens on lowest Greenville, and police are again emphasizing they will have a stepped-up law enforcement presence there to make sure that nobody gets out of hand while thousands converge on this part of the city. Reporting live along Greenville Avenue, Dan Godwin on Good Day.